second. Go ahead and open up the game because we will not have much time to play Smash before um, the direct actually starts. So. Um, one moment here, one moment. Colors weave into a spire of flame. Distant sparks call to a past still unnamed. Bear this torch against the cold of the night. Search your soul and reawaken the undying light. Hello. Maybe twelve minutes or something like that. So <laughs> we're not gonna have much time to play Smash Bros. before that direct starts. But um, we're gonna try anyway because we're living on the edge, right? Living on the edge, fol uh, folks. So, <laughs> um. Yeah, hello everybody, it's me, you know, you might know me from that show every Friday night, that one, yeah, and, um, uh, it's a Direx, and y'all know how I love Direx, and y'all know how everybody loves Direx, you know, um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful, isn't it, that we're getting a Direx, <laughs> I'm trying to talk while thinking of what map to choose, but, settings and everything. It's hard. It's hard to talk, right? You guys feel the struggle. Um, <laughs> we use Piranha Plant because, of course, he's the newest character and everything, so that's the only default point. I didn't check the CPU strength level, so that's probably gonna uh, result in disaster, but oh well. You know, Duck Hunt is a CPU. So, anyway, let's talk about the dragon a little bit. Um... It's the direct. There's a lot of rumors that have been going around. The one that I have heard the most about, actually, is... Um, well, actually, I've heard the most about a lot of them. One's Super Mario Maker 2. That's one that's being thrown up. Thrown around. And, um... Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm 50-50 on that one, okay? Another one going around. Pikmin 3 ports. I... I think that is very likely. I don't want it to happen though, I just want four. Just give me four already. So it's been four years since you said that off the cuff, I believe. Um, it's about time we see something about that. Oh, there's the old man in the background. I cannot focus on the Smash and talk. This is a bad idea. We should play it super soon. I'm more in my compass. <laughs> um, Okay, I'll take it. Um, let's say on um, What else was being thrown out as predictions? This is that Star Fox game we've heard about that Retro Studios might be making. Maybe that'll appear. Um, that's what some people are saying. I'm saying that. I don't think you're going to see anything from that. Uh, I know people are also saying maybe Metroid Prime Trilogy. And to that, I also say no. I don't think that will be shown. If that's even coming out this year, it's going to be late in here, I believe. Now let's talk about the game, uh, let's talk about a few of the games we already know about, I guess. Um, 
Oh, this is gonna be a good question. <laughs> nice. Um, so, a few of the games we already know about. We know about... Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. I think we're actually gonna see that here. Because I know a lot of people are saying it's gonna be a later in the year game around Halloween. But I actually think it's further on in development than you might think it is. I think it's gonna be coming out first half of the year. We also know Fire Emblem is going to be in there, so that's exciting because I really enjoy this in Fire Emblem. And this is not exciting, this is definitely just pounding. Oh, or not. Okay, nice. Um, what was the other one? This, you know, okay, Animal Crossing. How can I not remember things? Well, I'm trying to play Smash, so let me try it. Um, but yeah, Animal Crossing, I don't think that's going to be shown here. I do think that's uh, later in the half, uh, later in the year game. I know, like, a lot of people are, like, opposite of me. They think Animal Crossing is early in the year, and then Luigi's Mansion is going to be, um, later in the year. But I, I'm not young yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. This is getting annoying, Doc. You know? I was actually doing good. I got that final smash and everything. But then you just had to go and do your thing. It's a little duck you are. Dog too. That's confusing. Um, I keep forgetting to use moves, you know, when you just forget to use moves. Because I do that a lot. Um, oh, that's my favorite one. It's just down. That's such a good one. Charge it up. It's a lot of fun to use. I haven't played Dragon Ball at all, really, either, so <laughs> please excuse my terrible play here. I found that that's really to a duck hunt that I think might be a level 2 CPU. <laughs> I don't know that. I'm thinking that. Actually, here's our. This is it. Okay. <laughs> bye bye, duck hunt. There you go. We stone. That should take him out. <laughs> we somehow won that. It's the power of plant, everyone. The power of plant. Anyway. Um. Gotta love the victory swings. Anyway. I'm. Freaking out, guys, because the direct is like six minutes away. I don't know how I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be able to play another game or not. Um, I'm also trying to get all my predictions in, but it's impossible when I'm playing Smash. Here, we're gonna do this. We're gonna back up, we play the game. You guys saw how terrible I am at Smash. I'm gonna play some music for a little bit, and um, I'll talk about predictions while I'm not stressing about trying to show you I'm not absolutely terrible at this game. All right, uh, Zelda, um, here we go. All right, so, predictions. We've talked about some of the leaks that have been going around. Um, Pokemon 2019, people are expecting that at some point early in the year. I'm saying, not in this presentation, but that's kind of an easy thing to guess since Pokemon has historically never been announced in a Nintendo Direct. Um, besides that, um, what else is there? There's, there's gotta be more stuff. How about Mother 3, huh? <laughs> I was just, I was looking at the Mr. Saturn thing I have over there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think so. Um, there's those rumors going around that Nintendo was looking into that, but they may have shelved it. I kind of believe those, but I kind of don't want to. So that's actually really sad. Let's go to something a little less sad, actually. Um, Joker. Joker's coming to Smash Bros. Um, people say Persona 5 might get ported to. If Persona 5 is going to be port uh, ported, it will not be announced in this Direct. It'll be announced next month when Atlas is revealing whatever pers Persona 5 R is. Um, what... What was... Oh, yeah. Joker and Smash. I don't think we're going to see him. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I don't think we're going to see any, anything Smash Bros. in this Direct. I just don't think he's ready yet. He was revealed at the Game Awards, which was not that long ago, and they hadn't even started it on him at that point, if I'm believing this correctly, because they're working on a Piranha Plant. So, those are my hot takes on what we're going to see in this Direct. I really need to get it ready, because I'm afraid I'm going to keep blabbering into the actual presentation, which is only in four minutes. So I'm going to set that up real quick and I'll meet you guys back at my desk in a minute. And you'll have a face cam and you can actually see my beautiful face. Wonderful. Right? Not really. <laughs>
Okay, we have one minute left till the direct, so it was a good thing that I turned all that off when I did. Um, the lighting in here is a little off. Give me, give me one moment, everybody. Oh my gosh, I'm really like, oh my gosh, it's starting. Um, I don't have headphones. My gosh, <laughs> unprepared. You guys, tell me what happens. <laughs> Oh, here, are you kidding? Is this Super Mario Maker? Oh! <laughs> you guys won't even believe it. Friday Night Online this week is Super Mario Maker 1. I didn't, it slopes! It slopes! My gosh, it slopes! I can't, I can't hear it, though. I don't... This is 2, though, right? This has to be 2. It's not... It's that leak. It's totally correct from... Uh, whatever his name is. I don't know, but there it is. My goodness. I, <laughs> oh, I'm going insane right now. My, this looks legit, man. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I was playing it for Friday Night Online, like I said, uh, uh, guys, and like, it's, it's great. I forgot to turn off the music. Okay, this is great. Oh, so Super Mario 3D. Oh my gosh! There's a Super Mario 3D World style. That is amazing. I am. I can't even hear what's going on. What is Luigi? I love that. My gosh, Nintendo, you you know what to do. Also, I had the whole thing needed so you guys can hear it either. Yeah. Hi everyone. Yoshiaki Koizumi. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi. We're finally ready. That was for today's. That was a ride right, right there. <laughs> the slopes. The slopes. You just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker. Mm -hmm. Which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. I'm gonna balance the audio here. You guys tell me if it sounds okay. There will be okay. brand new features. Hello? New elements are in development as we speak. This is so... This is awesome. So please stay tuned. Is it this year? Did they give it release date? Alright. Next. Let's cover today's Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh my gosh. For the first time in 10 I'm, years. I'm just already Marvel satisfied because returns with a new Seriously. action RPG and an all new original story. Oh, you make her too. I can't I can't believe that. Each cast of Marvel superheroes from the Guardians of the Galaxy, uh. the Avengers, Defenders, X-Men and more to stop Thanos and the Black Order. From unleashing I'm gonna cosmic turn this chaos. down a little bit. You can play together in TV mode, locally on up to four systems or online. This looks interesting. To the Marvel the Ultimate Alliance 2, I believe it is. Camera. Um. And speaking of heroic, it's time to go higher, further, faster with Marvel's Ultimate Cosmic Protector, Captain. I don't really know if it's for me though. Power against those the only hack and slash games, games I'm really into are. Characters level up. They'll learn skills you can use Actually, on the just Pyro Warriors. That's basically the only one. I wasn't even that big of a fan of fi uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. Each hero has an Alliance Extreme Attack, their most powerful move. It is cool though that this is being online, published by Nintendo, right? Nintendo, I think. As you creatively combine hero skills into synergy attacks. It's so it's Your most weird. <laughs> attacks can even be combined into an ultimate alliance. I can't get over Mario Maker attack. though, guys. My gosh. Will be off the, charts. the slopes. I literally lost my mind when I saw the slopes. <laughs> of all things. Welcome back. Okay, Box that Boy. leak was totally legit because Box Boy was in it too. Get ready to unload some boxes and have fun doing it. I never played any of the Box Boy games, but I've always wanted to. I've heard they're amazing. This brand new game is tightly packed with tons of I might get this one. Brand new puzzles I probably will actually. I'm not gonna say my eye will. Something else in two. <gasps> this time two players can box it up together. To restore peace. My gosh, what have you player, done? You must work as a team. You've, and beat those stages. You have. Mm, After completing the story, you this can is wonderful. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. The tall one. This is made by oh, Hal too, I think. Right? Stages to beat. That's the highest. Two hundred. That's. Use wow. Your brain boxes to think outside the box and lead our heroes to the goal. 
Box Boy and Box Girl will unload on Have you guys ever wondered who the announcer for the Nintendo Directs are? Because I have. Maybe it's just me. Spring update. Oh, okay. I guess we are getting Joker then. All right, let's go. Let's go. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is about to spring forward. Version 3.0. That's Joker. Yeah. Update this spring. We just got 2.0. What though. are we adding, you ask? Joker. You'll just have to wait to find out. Remember. So you're just gonna tell us. Joker is a part of Challenger Pack One. Oh, there's okay. He's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally there's come his model. before the end of April. That ooh. in other words, this year, springtime is the time to smash. Are you gonna give us gameplay? Forget, new Super Smash ooh, Brothers series amiibo I want both figures are on the way too. <laughs> All these amiibo, oh my gosh. I'm gonna that's gonna kill my wallet. But I don't more I don't have anything out anyway. <laughs> It's never too late for a journey through the get all these like games and world that's, of the that's Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. That's the money right there, you know. In fact, we have two new announcements for the Nintendo Switch version. Wait. After oh, okay. Update, all courses will support two-player co-op. Maybe huh. Captain Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. I did not get it two on uh, Switch because I played it on Wii U, but I really liked it on Wii U. Way. So it's this cool they're still supporting it. Available later today. Today? And some paid downloadable content is coming. Paid? We're adding in 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses. From sunken ships to a kingdom of sweets. How much? And achieving new objectives in existing courses. Because if you're courses. only adding five new courses, then you can't charge much for that. 18 new challenges, but it's only must five the shining new courses. Crowd in each course, all of which can be played alone or with a second player. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today. Okay, you nice. Access to one of the courses, but they're the rest of the not telling us how much it costs. If you don't have the game, maybe five dollars. That's that's the most I can Nintendo pay for that. Later probably. Today. It contains the full game and gives you access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode once it's available. I'm probably not going to go for it just because I already paid for it on Wii U and enjoyed the game and I don't really need more. Bloodstained, though, that is awesome. Did we know this was coming? I didn't, at least. That's awesome. We still can't get a Castlevania on Switch, though. These powers, not, a, the <laughs> not a Castlevania. Kon Kon Konami, they'll put them in Smash, but no, you can't get a game. And dart about Jeebel's castle at lightning speed. Here, the laws of reality and 2D side-scrollers don't apply. Throughout the castle, a treasure trove of side quests, deadly tasks, and small touches flesh out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Beyond the main story, you can dig deep into character customization Subquests and more. Stop the fall of man at the hands of demons. That's awesome. Don't be afraid to show I, them I don't know if we knew side. about this though. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night emerges from the shadows this summer. Ah. Ah. The time has come to build a new world and take on the children Dragon of Argon. Dragon Quest Builders 2. We did know about that. I know that and much. We knew about Dragon Quest Builders 2. The mysterious Malron and defend your world from monstrous forces. Enlist villagers to help rebuild and fight alongside you in the story mode. I feel like I would Nine really like builders Dragon Quest Builders, but or I feel like I would get, get like, too invested in it, and then spend way too much time in it. Also, sorry about the audio right now. I'm magic. trying to now you can dash, readjust it, make sure everything's good. I think person. that's good, right? That sound good? Underwater. Yeah. Hello? And warp all over the new retro-inspired map. I think that is game good. On the Nintendo Switch system, <laughs> you can craft a legendary builder's outfit. Wow. And the Dragon Lord's throne. Wow. When Dragon Quest Builders 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 12th. There are more Nintendo Switch headlines to come, but first, a word from Mr. Koizumi. Okay. Well, how's it looking? Next. It's looking pretty good. What? what? We have a new announcement for that classic RPG series. Please take a look. What? What is this? There are RPGs. Dra this Dragon and Quest. Then there's Dragon Quest. Again. The series that defined the genre, and the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch yeah. in full force. Dragon Quest XI. Uh, Echoes style, of the Elusive Age. Did I get that right? I got it right. Story in series history. 
Where there is light, darkness follows. Headless no horsemen. Does this wow. Truer I didn't know there were multiple. The boy that prophecy says will succeed That's, the last That is a weird looking baby, but okay. In an odd twist of fate, the boy's I like this. Is I like this announcer him. guy. He's got a good announcing voice. On the day he becomes an adult, he finally discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the luminary. Yeah, it's Dragon Quest XI. We know it's been out when he goes on to the PS4 for a while. <laughs> kingdom for guidance, he is dubbed Darkspawn. So begins the perilous journey. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna fix the, the lighting some more because it's still a little join him on his quest weird in here. Right. Together, they'll explore the towns and terrain of the sprawling, detailed land, Erdrea. Monsters roam free of random encounters. When you engage them, choose your strategy wisely in turn-based battles. You must know when to attack, when to heal, when to use magic, and when to switch your party members' orders. As you do, you'll earn skill points which can be used to teach party members attacks, spells, and improve their abilities. You can also collect material so you can forge weapons, armor, and accessories. I mean, this game looks like very interesting to me. Looking I feel like it's a game I would like. Out in side quests. <sighs> but I don't know if I have time for another game like this. I have so many games to play. It's a real struggle, guys. Figuring out which games you should play. Because the player has the power to choose Wonderful. I have to fix my hair. Oh, that's cool. glory of old. This is also the first version of the game. Oh, I like that cactus guy. You guys see that cactus guy? Teams. I'm if a big fan of him. You can change between the original sound and the new one whenever you want. And you can also experience the journey with English or Japanese audio. I still can't get over Mario Maker, guys. It's insane. And of course, I picked this of all weeks to finally play it on Friday Night Online. And I acknowledged in that video several times, I want a sequel. I have one before the video is even going to go up, so that's wonderful. Oh my gosh. It doesn't look like it's taken that much of a graphical hit on um, Switch compared to PS4. It's pretty impressive, actually. I know this, this was the first game announced for Switch, right? Because it was before we even knew anything about the system. New light on hidden truths. This hero's adventure has truly leveled up. Definitive edition. Dragon Quest Eleven S. Echoes of an elusive age. Definitive edition. Awesome. Launching exclusively on Nintendo Wonderful. Switch this fall. Yippee! While we just announced the addition of these new stories, there will be more new information to share in the future. Yay. Please look forward to learning more. For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. A Disney Tsum Tsum game like you've never seen before. Wonderful. These stuffed Disney toys took the world by storm. This is what I come to my Nintendo Directs for, you know. At the toy store in Disney Tsum Tsum Festival. This is Totally is the stuff that I come to see in Nintendo Direct Sport, you know. <laughs> competitive and cooperative games that support up to four players. You can play online as well with players from around the world. And you can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. Really? Tsum Tsum to clear I know nothing about Tsum Tsum, so... <laughs> The game also features a two-player mode for local and online competitive matches. Wow. Disney Tsum Tsum Festival will steal our hearts in 2019. Are you making a Persona reference? <laughs> We're picking up a distress call in Starlink. the star system. But this time, it's far from friendly. In fact, it's Pigma. Than star Wolf's infamous lieutenant. That is... Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the great Leon. Leon, now I Peppy, love Leon. Falco and Slippy have no choice but to hunt them down, like the animals they are, in a challenging new series that's of missions all, you can only find That's great. It's getting new content. Update of Starlink Battle for Atlas. Every member I have the game, but I have not played it yet. <laughs> pilot ability and skill tree. Plus, each pilot can take on any of the new missions and also Fox's I know missions it from the base didn't game. sell very well, which is sad because I love the... But don't expect Wolf um, to play fair. 
Look forward to news on the rest of the additional Wait, content, what's playable? such as starship races and faction missions. I don't even know. So okay. ready I can't. The Starbox <laughs> team joins the Starlink Battle for Atlas update this April. That's that's cool though that they're still supporting that. A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up once again. Another season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. Interact with townsfolk daily. It is about to be fall. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Hook some fish. Cook up a storm. Or even raise monsters. This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory Force. I thought it was Rune Factory. I wasn't 100% sure and I didn't want to say something and then Battle look like an idiot. <laughs> but before long, I was pretty sure it was Rune Factory. More than just friends. What? See what the heart-pounding newlywed life has in store for you, exclusively in this new version of the game. Rune Factory 4 Special will be ripe for the playing later this year. Alright. And. And. Rune Factory and Smash! <laughs> oh, Rune Factory 5. 5. That's wonderful. Look forward to more info in the future. Soon, a time will oh, is this uh, Bravely 3? And rescue lost souls. Before those souls become monsters. In this action RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna oh, and no. Lost Sphere. It looked like step Bravely. Step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets... Are we sure that this really looks like Bravely to me? World and the then again, I only played the demo for Bravely. I was not that fate, into it. Becoming monsters. When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you, granting you new powers. Each soul's powers are different, so you must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep single-player campaign, there will be many battles... You will fight, and you will become stronger. Those who fall to grief are lost, and the lost don't reincarnate. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin to crumble when Oninaki launches in summer 2019. That looks pretty good. Cars, robots, and Yoshis in a world of crap. Oh my. You know what that means? Yoshi's crafted world is almost here. Yep. This time, we'd like to put the many facets of these crafty courses on display. I just realized we haven't seen Fire Emblem Yoshi, yet. <laughs> we'll go rafting. It's probably next, I'm guessing. Race solar cars. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about Crafted World. Plane. I've said this not before, sure, but I'm not the biggest hey, Yoshi game fan. Huge for a miniature. Even at this scale, and then even just looking at this game, wrangle. I feel like Woolly World looks more interesting to me. Maybe it's just me. But... Up, you can collect crafted costumes. Apple juice. If you wear one, It'll offer a bit of protection from enemies. <laughs> so it's kind of like the amiibo costumes in Willy World. Costumes. That's that's cool. To get your hands on. Labo. <laughs> there is your Labo later integration. Today, we'll release a demo. It lets you play through the a demo later world. today. That's cool. The Yoshi's Crafted World game will finally hatch on March 29th. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines coming up, but first, another update Fire from Emblem. Mr. Koizumi. Yes, Mr. Koizumi. So far? Or is it Super Mario Next, Odyssey 2? I would like that too. <laughs> in one of our long Just make it the year of Mario, Fire you know? Three houses. I know it's Fire Emblem. I know it. Let's, let's hear some more about this. I'm intrigued. Oh my. What could have brought you here? I don't know. I'm just I'm watching a Nintendo Direct. Yeah. <laughs> the continent of Fodlan, said to Fodlan, be protected yes. by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Vargas, Ruled oh, yes. by the royal family and its knights. To the east, 
A league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. The Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a so we're gonna have an all-out war here. <laughs> Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Oh no, the war's already happened. Darn it! Is there another war? I think there's in another the war. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. You start out as a mercenary traveling with a group led by your father, Geralt. Geralt. After an unexpected I like that incident name. reveals an unknown power hidden within. You'll travel to Garrick Mock Monastery. Where Don't tell me the whole story. <laughs> at the Officers Academy. Around Officers that same Academy. time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis, who appears within your mind. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. Garrig Mock Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. It How is the convenient. home base of the Church of Saros, the main religion of Fodlan as well as the Knights of Saros. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers' Academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses. The Black Eagles is for students from the Adrestian Empire, including the house leader and future emperor, Edelgard. So there the is Blue where Lions boasts Prince comes Dimitri in? of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus Dimitri. as its house leader. This house is for students from his kingdom. The Golden this is a lot Deer of is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the Alliance. I like Claude. He seems like as a pretty a cool guy. You will lead the students of one of these houses and instruct them. In addition to the house leaders, there are many That's other really students interesting, to actually. Meet, You're a professor. <laughs> personalities and skills. Which house will you choose? So you, you have to choose one? What if I want them all? Students I'm definitely going with Claude, though. Claude's my man. Lands, sometimes with the Knights of Saros themselves and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live I mean, it looks or good. die will depend on It looks like it's going to be a great leadership. game, and I'm definitely going to play it. Strategize as the battle progresses. But I'm to a little victory. disappointed in the graphics. I mean, then again, this is an Nintendo At Switch game. Academy, you got to think about the gameplay is, is more important than the graphics, but so that they may I don't know. It looks like an up-res 3DS game to me. Master the study of magic. And acquire special skills such as horsemanship. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> you have been entrusted in. with their future, and it's up to you to guide. I think that professor idea is really cool, though. That you're Through like teaching these knights. And study, you can help your students reach their full potential. Your students can also interact with each other at the academy, and by doing so their bonds will strengthen, and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. Look good. Looks good. Look, 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 look. Let's use words. Looks good. <laughs> no thanks. Hey, over here. Claude! Claude, Edelgard, and Demetrius? Right? Three territories. Three houses. Your very own journey. So where's the conflict here if the if the Fire Emblem Three Houses continent is in release on July peace 26th. right now. But July, that's later. That's real later than I thought it would be. Seasons of Warfare. So, so, how does it look? Special edition, okay. Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring, but more development time will be necessary. And so the new release date is July 26th. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. If you say so, so. Look forward to the next generation just of Fire Emblem be good. The same. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Thank you. In this next entry of this iconic series, 
The last player standing wins. Box boy again? <laughs> 99 players. 99, okay. But only one reigns supreme. It's a battle royale? <laughs> this is Tetris 99. Oh my gosh, it's battle royale Tetris. The iconic puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. Nintendo My Switch gosh, what will they do next? In this free -to we, we've game. hit an all-time high, guys. We have Battle Royale Attack Tetris. Garbage. Attack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the Oh survivor. my gosh. Nintendo Switch Online members, be ready to join the fight. Oh boy. Tetris 99 will be available for Let's go. Today. Let's go. Look forward to battling it out <laughs> in upcoming online events. This is too good to be true. Prepare to kill, survive, or die in Dead by Daylight. Imagine this. You're alone, struck by fear, struggling to survive. And then you meet another survivor. But it's too late. The killer oh, is no. Now run. Hide. Scavenge for items. Open the gates. And escape with your life. Open the or gates. Take on the role of the killer to make the so-called survivors your next victims. Terrifying. Oh, oh, yes. oh no. Satisfy. He took him out of the freezer. Just you wait. With loads of maps, characters, and cosmetics to earn. What character we'll customization? Run like anything I've ever seen. While you're on the hunt or being hunted, discover the true meaning of horror when Dead by Daylight creeps up on Nintendo Switch this fall. KO. This dog will ruin your day. Oh, Delta Rune. That's awesome. Just episode one though, right? Or is it episode two? No, I think it's episode one. <laughs> yeah, chapter one, same thing. Delta Rune. I played Undertale uh, back in December. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> there aren't there. Well, what if I wanted that many dogs in actual game? Come on, Toby. What? What are you doing, man? I thought you were cool. <laughs> now for a message from the producer of the futuristic mech action game. Sooner than you think. Hello everyone, I'm Kinichiro Tsukura, producer of Damon X Machina. Hello. And I have some news for you. Later today, they'll be releasing a demo called Damon X Machina Prototype Mission on Nintendo. How many demos are you releasing today, guys? Jeez. The game is still in development, but in the demo you can battle through four different missions while exploring the basic. I really want to play this demo though because I need to know more about this game. You can also experience a boss battle in the final mission, so please try it out. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players who try out Prototype Mission. If okay. you're not selected for the survey, we also welcome your feedback via social media. We appreciate your feedback and hope to make this game the best it can be. We have more to say about Damon X Machina, so please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account so you can stay up to date on the latest information. I'm intrigued. Demon X Machina should be launching this summer. Alright. With that in mind, the development team is working hard right now, so please stay tuned. Realistic racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. Grid Autosport comes fully loaded with Wonderful. <laughs> high speed thrills. I love car games. I love them so much. Level that scales to your skills. They like are my favorite racer as you master the world's fastest cars to win motorsports most exhilarating races. Oh boy. From the prestigious circuit of Spa Francorchamps to the narrow city streets of oh, Barcelona. Oh boy, I am so all DLC excited. Is included with 100 cars, 100 Let's circuits, get all these cars. And some welcome additions like motion controls and oh. custom controls. Oh, so I mean the cars Players can race online or locally and online. Can race I have to pay for online though. I can't do that. I am dirt. poor because I spend all my sports sports money on games about cars. Summer 2019. That's what I do. <laughs> Enter the Viking Age to experience Senua's oh, journey again. That's or for the very first that's time. That's cool. Hellblade. 
created in collaboration with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis, Hellblade pulls players deep into the mind of Senua. This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead. I know Hellblade was like. Uh, Hellblade has won multiple awards. Yeah, including that. I know it won a lot of awards, and it's supposed to be really good, and a lot of people really like it, so that's cool. It's coming to Switch. Find out why when Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice releases on Nintendo Switch this spring. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. Yeah, let's go. What is it? Oh, more to combat! Come on, yeah. Let's go, Shaggy. Let him in. With all new custom character variations, plus new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. In a fresh new adventure, unravel. These players take control of two adorable Yarnies. Control both Yarnies on your own in single player, or play with a friend in local co-op for some puzzling platforming fun. When Unravel 2 comes to Nintendo Switch nice. March 22nd. For the first time Assassin's Creed 3, Switch, the thing that Assassin's was leaked. Remastered with revamped <laughs> this was actually my first Assassin's Creed game, and I have a really soft spot info. for it. Set in the American Revolution, explore one of the most iconic eras in history as you fight for freedom and independence and usher in the rise of a nation. All the original downloadable content, plus the entire standalone game, Assassin's Creed Liberation Remastered, will be included when they launch together on May 21st. Final Fantasy fans. Yeah. <laughs> open your calendars. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy VII will find its new home on Nintendo Switch March 26th. Great. Maybe I'll we actually can play it. We also announce that Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, everybody will release. Yeah, on boy. That's what I'm playing. Pleased to announce that Final Fantasy IX will journey onto Nintendo Switch later today. Nice. Once a classic, always a classic. You guys are putting out a That's lot of stuff today, Nintendo actually. Switch headline. How's everything looking? Good. Well, I just I like Mario Maker. Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. I will. Let's take a look, shall we? Snap. What is this? Is this Star Fox? No, it's not Star Fox. <laughs> is it Star Fox? Is this uh I really have no idea. Man, the new Star Fox really looks cool. <laughs> Is this, uh... I have a few ideas of what it could be, but I don't want to say them because then I look like, a, like an idiot, you know? This can't be that, can it? I'm trying to figure out what this is. My heart goes out to you too. All because of how you were born. Doomed to be used by those idiots until you die. Chained to your fate. Powerless. Today has been most revelatory. Finally, we're ready for the final stage. What the, the hell, hell are, are they? they? Why, Why did you make them? them? I really hoped you two wouldn't get caught up in all this. It, okay, it is. Wait. Astral chain. <laughs> this is new, isn't it? I'm not. I, yeah, that's why I couldn't. Platinum. Awesome. It looks good. Looks really good, actually. What you just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development. Yeah, that, that's why I couldn't. I couldn't place. I was like, is this near? Is this. Xenoblade? Is this. <laughs> Is it Star Fox? I'm excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. It looks cool. Please stay tuned. And speaking of platinum games, I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. 
Rest not really. Sure, the developers I'm, of Bayonetta 3 I'm are not hard a big at work, Bayonetta and I hope fan, you're looking but... forward to learning more. Okay. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Please. Check oh out. no. It's gonna be good though because it's the last thing. What if he says it's the last thing, but then he does another thing after this? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Water. Lots of water. Lightning. More water. There's a boat! I see a boat. It's a boat. Is it, this is a smash reveal, isn't it? No, it's uh, it's Zelda! Is this Link, Link's Awakening? They're remaking Link's Awakening? They're remaking Link's Awakening. Oh my goodness! That, oh! That's awesome! That's so, oh, that's so awesome. They're even, they're using the same Zelda logo as a, whoa. That it, this art style. I love this. I really like this. 2019. There it is. That's the Zelda game that was rumored in the same thing as Mario Maker. That's so cool, though. Wow. So, what did you think? I like it. At long last, 1993's Game Boy Classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I've never played Link's Awakening either, so it's even better, you know? After 26 years, it has been reborn as a new experience. Let's go. We'll have more to say in the future. Please look forward to its release. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. But there's one more thing. <laughs> no. No more one more things this time. Um, how's it good? I, I really like that. So few points to touch on here first of all that mario maker thing that was insane because <laughs> i wasn't ready for it either that just made it even more insane um so i, I love i love that that was a thing um one second here i'm gonna switch switch around some stuff um there okay you guys can look at mario taking a break or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, Mario Maker. That's insane. The slopes, man. The slopes. Is it? <laughs> I keep forgetting that they're adding in uh, Mario 3D World for it too, because those slopes, man. Like, who cares about 3D World? We have slopes. Um, other big one, of course, was Link's Awakening remake. That looks really different, and I, I really like. The art style they're going for, I think. At least I think. I, I can't tell yet. <laughs> but it looks really interesting and different. And I've never played Link's Awakening, but I've heard amazing things. So I want to play it. You know? I really want to play it. Um, I'm getting emails on my computer, so I'm going to turn the sound off. Um, what else shall we talk about? How about Joker? Because I know a lot of people, as I said beforehand, thought he was going to be in this direct... Um, and though he kind of was, there was no gameplay. So I'm going to say I take partial credit for getting that right. <laughs> um, what other big things did we have? We had a lot of small things, like, uh, all the Smash Amiibo that are coming. Those are really cool. Demon X Machina, there's, uh, a demo coming out for that and for Yoshi. So that's cool. Mario Maker. I need to go back and watch that, actually, because I didn't see if they put a date on there for Mario Maker, because what if that's not coming out this year, huh? What then? I don't know. You tell me. Um, does Nintendo have the VOD up yet? Yeah, they do? Okay. Uno momento. We gotta play this back. Do 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 I'm trying to think of what else I announced. Maybe I'll just look through the direct and remember. 
Because I can't remember things very well. Okay. I'll pull it up for you guys so you can actually see it. Box Boy. Box all, Boy, there are where? 270 stages this, to beat. Where's the button? That's the highest. No, that's the wrong button. Here's, no, wrong button Here's again. There's the box. Boxes. Okay. Think outside the box. Box Boy, so we we go back a little bit. It was Ultimate Alliance came right after Mario Maker, so. Their most powerful move. Uh, you join right it? here. Maybe. Let's unmute the computer so we can actually hear. Oh no, Ko Koizumi came on after we saw. I like this, I really like this music. I didn't hear this music uh, the first time, so. Man, this is, this is gonna be so great, guys. I'm so excited for Mario Maker 2. June! My gosh, I didn't see that. That's like the biggest thing in the whole Hi, direct. Everyone. It's June? I'm Yoshiaki. That's not a holiday game, guys. That's this quarter. My gosh, that means Luigi's Mansion and Animal Crossing, because they weren't shown. Those are holiday games. That's E3 this year. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be a great year, guys. This is going to be a great year. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to wrap it up for now because I'm probably going to go eat something because I'm hungry. <laughs> so I will see you guys Friday for an out-of-date episode of Friday Night Online. <laughs> and uh, keep your eyes out because i got some more stuff coming too. I've been editing it a lot lately. I've been doing a lot of editing, so hopefully you enjoy it when it actually comes out. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but um, I'm going to ruin the surprise because there's your hint. All right. See y'all later.